Hello everybody and welcome back to a Gran Turismo 7 video. I've not played this in sport mode as much or made videos as much as I wanted so I thought I'd uh, kind of crack on a bit and do some more. Now, I didn't record the first race I wanted to the other day. Um, I actually qualified on pole position, had a decent race but got a bit unlucky with penalties and, and finished fourth as you can see on that, that image there. So after that I felt like I wanted to do these races again, like I said I've not been playing sport mode as much, I've, I've not been making any videos on this game as much as I wanted to so um, I thought while I'm enjoying this race today we'll, we'll record it and, uh, and see how we get on so decided to put a little few personal touches to the, the Corolla here just to kind of make it mine to make it stand out a little bit um, like I said I enjoyed the, the first race despite not getting the result I wanted uh, it was only a, a, sh a short race around one of the uh, Suzuka West circuit, uh, six laps. Um, everyone's in the same kind of cars, it's all balanced power, everything like that. So it was uh, a nice even playing field. And I did enjoy it, I wasn't expecting it. I've been actually struggling with this game to, to find pace that I've had in other games. Um, so I was quite surprised to do four or five laps, get pole position and, and have a, a relatively competitive race. Um, I found that the, the guy that actually was... Um, a bit quicker than me in the race, was a lot more aggressive in his driving um, as opposed to taking quick quick lines, qualifying lap lines so um, I kind of lost it because of that but it, it gave me a good idea for this next race um, again we're, we're up near the front, we're, we got pipped to the pole position this time I couldn't improve my, my qualifying time in uh, in, the, in qualifying <laughs> so we've, we've started second in this race behind the leader of the Swiss guy here and uh, we're just wanting to see what we can do, if we can maybe get a win this time around just to see uh, if we can uh, rectify what happened in the uh, in the first race, and as you can see, I clicked the clutch control up to two. I tried. I was racing without it because that's how I normally race. But you just lose so much time to these guys. So to be competitive, you have to you have to use it. Everyone's using it. It's, it's overpowered, so you have to. But uh, we're going to turn one. We're following the leader here, and I just the car just wouldn't turn. Tires were cold. It's comfort mediums. It didn't turn, so we've ended up being shoved down to seventh place, eighth place in the mid pack after qualified second. And you just know it's going to be a bad race when this happens. So we're still there, bumping and bashing around in the midfield. We've managed to hold on to seventh though. Uh, eighth place was just a bit, uh, a bit too, uh, <laughs> too aggressive there and bumping off of us. On to lap six now. Uh, sorry, on to lap two now. We're in sixth place. There was a, a guy ahead got a penalty, as far as I'm aware. So um, we're into sixth place on the second lap. Got someone coming around our outside here on this left-hander, and uh, not able to fully make it. We actually cut them off a little bit there. I uh, didn't realise he was so close beside me, but he's uh, sneaking through on the inside now, just pushing us as we go, which which is which is fair. Uh, we'll we'll let him have that one. But we get a little bit of a better exit there, um, coming out of the the last corner and the start finish straight. And as you can see in the radar, he's not quite alongside us. He pulls him behind. And we managed to, to keep that second place, but we're under a lot of pressure now coming into to turn one. It's a very difficult corner to get right in this car. As soon as you stamp on the brakes, the rear just kind of wants to, to, to chuck itself out, but we managed it quite nicely there. There was some carnage at the front. Fifth place is uh, in front of us. We've gone past him now. So we're up into fifth. And as you can see, that battle of four, which we didn't think we were going to get near at the start, considering we were down in seventh and eighth, we're right on the back of them now uh, on the end of lap three, starting lap four here. Uh, the Finnish guy was leading, ended up having a, a slowdown penalty sadly for him, but that's helped us up into fourth place now. And we've got three laps to pass three cars here. Now we know, judging by qualifying, we have the pace. The guy that qualified first is in an eighth at the moment, or seventh, eighth battling away. We're on the brakes there, a little bit of a bump. That's, that's unsettled that guy, so maybe not the, that's a touring car bump and run. I didn't want to run him out too wide there, but um, we've uh, managed to get the position anyway. And went up into third place. Not the cleanest of overtakes, but it's, it's a touring car style. I, I'll, I'll take that. <laughs> into second place now. They're just in front of us. Now they went to uh, to defend uh, and then overshot the corner a little bit. So we managed to sneak up the inside there and take second place off of them. And that's just left us with one car to pass in a lap and a half now, though. And they weren't looking too confident, as you can see, out of turn two. They just had no exit speed, no pace whatsoever. Towards the end of the lap, we're on the right, right on the back of them. They're a bit wide there, we've had to take two or three bites to that corner because we got our line a little bit wrong looking for the undercut. And uh, we're coming out of this last corner right on the back of them. We've got a watch from behind us, so there are still cars right behind us. But uh, we've got our sights firmly set on our fellow Brit in the orange, on the orange 11, with a, a bit of a spoiler on the back. So he comes to kind of block us a little bit late, decides against it in the end there. We've still got our nose on, you can, on the radar, you can see, we've still got our nose up the inside. And he just turns in as if we're not there, so that unsettles him. Puts us over the grass, I've got dirty tyres, so we end up just sliding back out into him again. Uh, and that's put him wide, we're a little bit wide, but we've got the move done. 
there wasn't really too much we could have done there. He, he kind of chopped our nose off as we're coming into that corner. The second place is right on the back of us now. We're a little bit all over the place because the tyres are still a bit dirty. Now they poke their nose up the inside of us and as you can see, they just they spin us out. Um, at the time I didn't know if it was, they felt like they had to extract some sort of revenge for us, robustly taking the lead even though that other guy turned it on us. Uh, we'll go and look at the replay in a second, but in the end, we ended up coming home in seventh, and uh, Louis that we were battling with on that last lap came came home in eight, eight behind us. So, yeah, we both got uh, shot on there, <laughs> and the French guy finished third. But as you can see here on the replay, look, we're up, we've got a nose up the inside. He just turns in as if we're not there. We ended up having to bounce over the grass, over the curb, and we just then couldn't slow ourselves down. He lost out a little bit, obviously. Um, it could have been a lot worse. But I felt like he didn't give us much of a, an option there, as we can see him roll with the French person. He just turns in as if we're not there. Now, we don't have a massive overlap, but we are there. We're entitled to a little bit of space, as far as I feel. And um, just with the dirty tyres after bouncing over the grass and whatnot, we, we couldn't we couldn't not slide into him. So, yeah, that's kind, of, uh, that's kind of how that went. And then, as you can see here, the French driver in the white car, they get underneath us here. But they seem to kind of straighten up and turn left well before the corner. It feels like it feels like they did that on purpose. I, I don't know. I don't want to to think badly of people, but that's what it seems like. And then looking at the, the inputs here on the inside, the wee red dot doesn't quite show that they're turning fully into us, but I feel like they that they were. As you can see again here, my nose was just on the, his rear quarter panel, and that's uh, that's what started that that accident off. So yeah. Um, I'll, I'll, do you know what, I'm open to other people's thoughts. If, if they feel, if someone feels like I was at fault, then let us know. But my opinion so far is I had my nose, my nose at the inside. But uh, it was an interesting, interesting maneuver. It's a shame the race ended the way it ended because we felt like we had the pace. We definitely had the pace in qualifying. So uh, I didn't let that dishearten me. Though I did come back and, and do this race again. As you can see, Louis ended up having more issues later on, which is a, a shame for him. He's obviously still had dirty tyres, and, and he's ended up going off of the uh, off the circuit again and uh, losing a lot more time. So neither of us really benefited from that and here it is in a, the full glory of the Gran Turismo replay cam so yeah, I need to I need to watch replays a bit more they get some nice cameras and nice racing here so um, I did used to like making montages uh, on Gran Turismo and stuff in the past so it might be something I have to do again and here is our demise just in a, a cloud of smoke <laughs> that's the way it goes but yeah I didn't let that dishearten me came back going to do this race again and um we, we kind of enjoyed this actually, I, I do like this circuit and I like slower cars like this, it always produces some pretty good racing. Um, we're back in pole position now though, where our competitor from the last race isn't here, so we managed to to uh, get pole position. We've got a very ricered out <laughs> car behind us in second place, the, the Finnish guy. But um, we're away in first place here, decent start, decent launch. We haven't lost too much ground but it's just a case of now taking the right line into turn one, not losing it, not overdoing it like we did in the last race and dropping down to seventh place. Got to take a nice tighter line, make sure that we're not sliding out too much on the, the colder tyres and uh, just keeping a tight line here. And that's what we have done. There's been a little bit of bumping and bashing behind us, but that's no harm. We can't see it at the back window because we put a massive uh, roll cage in it. But um, yeah, it was a pretty easy race up until this point. We're on coming towards the end of lap 5 out of 6. We ended up taking a little bit too much grass in that second last corner and getting a penalty. But that doesn't matter. We, we had enough of a gap to the finish in second. And uh, we managed to, to take a win. Lights to flag victory. Fastest lap. Hold position. That was it. That's was it the Grand Chelem. Chelem. Chelm. <laughs> I can't even pronounce it. I think, I don't know. You know what I mean. We took everything. Pole position, fastest lap, clean race and the victory. I had everything I needed to have there. So, decided I'd go to Daily Race B. I've taken the Corvette out for a spin here in qualifying. Trying to see what we could do. I wasn't overly confident here, to be honest with you. Um, I was struggling a little bit, but I just wanted to get some laps and try something a bit faster, try something a little bit different and see how we got on. Um, in the race, we will qualify 14th in the race, we're a little bit cautious in a lot of the circuit because I still wasn't overly comfortable with this car. So as you can see on the exit turn one, a little bit of sliding, losing a place here up into to losing a place to 15th. And then this this turn here, I just kept having issues with it. Doesn't matter what car I was driving, I kept having problems. And uh, lap one, race one, in this did not go to plan. I made up a few positions for people uh, quitting and whatnot, but we finished in 14th place. And uh, 
We didn't mind the Corvette too much, it was an alright car to drive, it was just... I just needed to be a bit more cautious in certain parts of it. But I decided I'll try the Supra this time around, just to see how this feels in comparison. I wanted to try a few cars today and and uh, just to see how they all felt and, and get used to them. I only had four, four GR3 cars, I didn't want to buy any other ones, I know there's a few. I think the Peugeot is the car to have in this. But I did not realise how slow the Supra was. Like, it felt nice, but it was slow. Uh, I was two or three seconds off my Corvette time in practice with this. And then in the straight, as you can see in the radar, that Subaru behind us caught us up. I'm surprised they didn't go for a move, but we dropped the cars ahead massively. Subaru behind caught us. And it just... I don't know, it, it felt nice to drive. I love the sound of this car, it just sounds incredible. But it didn't have any pace whatsoever, so it's definitely a car to avoid. Um, if you've got the Supra and GR3, just don't don't use it. But as you can see, there's a bit of a melee here in the mid pack, coming around the uh, into sector two now. So we're, we're keeping with folk this time around. We haven't crashed yet, as, as as we did in the last race. So we're keeping with folk, but we're just. I wasn't too fussed about getting a good result in these races. It's like I said, I've not played sport mode enough recently. I've not done enough races online, so I just wanted to kind of dip my toes again and, and see how we get on and just get used to it a little bit more because, like I said, I'm struggling with this game a little bit to find consistency and to find pace. But there's definitely no pace in this car. Again, the cars ahead of us, we've got the slipstream, but we are losing them. I am really surprised that the Super Behind didn't make more of an effort to get past us because he was much quicker in a straight line. Uh, I got my braking all wrong up here. I, I even got my downshifts completely wrong as well. <laughs> Revving it in second and first into the corner. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but uh, we're in tenth place though. Considering how bad this car is, we're in tenth at the moment, which is good. But um, as you can imagine, that's very short-lived when you saw how the last race went and how slow this car is in a straight line. Again, the cars ahead of us are just storming away. I'm surprised the cars behind us didn't make a better attempt to get past us because they were clearly quicker. But, uh, well, saying that, someone has got up the inside of us. We have lost our breaking point entirely. And, um, yeah, that's us back down to, to 12th place. On to lap 4. We're in 11th and gained one more place, but that was just, again, someone, someone uh, disconnecting or having a mistake. And this corner, yet again, that's how my race ended, and that's that's basically how it ended. But um, yeah, it was a good couple of races there. Uh, like I said, I enjoyed Suzuka, the east course, not the west course. I said west earlier, Suzuka and Deep Forest. But I do need to come back on this game. But yeah, avoid the Supra. <laughs> but um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I do need to get back on Grand Turismo a little bit more. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll see you all later on for some more Grand Turismo 7 action.